What's up guys? Welcome to That Creative Life. It's me, James Mathis. Today we're going to talk about my three most used accessories when it comes to instruments. If you liked the little intro clip that was done with my preset, and if you'd like to have that sound and you have an HX stomp, it's down in the description below. It's free. Check it out. It's the Neo Soul Snapshot 4. Um, moving on. Shameless plug. Had to get out of the way. Um, my three favorite accessories that I use on a regular basis I feel like for a guitar player, these are the most common three things that you have to have. And so I wanted to share which ones I use. And so first up, we're talking picks. This is the Snarling Dog Brain Pick. And this is in particular the 0.6. I also use the 1.14s, depending on if I want thick or thin. And so these have a grip on them that is wonderful. As you'll see, I'm gonna try to throw in some footage, but these are invaluable to me. I use these constantly. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful picks. I've used the same thing for the past 10 years, so <laughs> uh, I promise I swear by these. Next up are the strings. I am a diehard NYXL fan. Boom. These are my favorite string there's ever been made. There's also a coded version that I love just as much. The Watt Packs for the acoustics, what I use on the acoustic, I use these strings exclusively. And these in particular for the electric are 10 to 52s. That's kind of my preferred string gauge. I like a little bit thicker of a bottom end and a little bit Ladder on the top end, just to kind of have some chugging, some bending, and you know, all the fun stuff that a good guitar player needs to have. Last but not least is the G7th Nashville Capo. I love the G7th Capos. I really like the tension ones, but they're not always super practical when you need to change fast. The Nashville Capo, however, is super quick. It works on electric just as well as an acoustic, so if I'm playing and I need to use this for electric, which is not super often, but occasionally. This is the best one that I have found to not cause any kind of issues with the guitar going out of tune, anything like that. And these three things I cannot play guitar without. They are imperative to me, especially if I'm playing acoustic with a singer. This is super valuable. My pick of choice, if I'm using a pick, I use my fingers a lot. Uh, love finger picking, especially like lead stuff, mayor style, whatever you want to call it. And then thing that makes a sound in general. These are my three most used accessories. If you've been like trying to figure out which ones you want to use, if you've never really landed on something you're super happy with, give these a shot. You might like them. I know this is a short video. I don't feel super good today. I kind of have the crud. It's nothing bad or anything. I don't have a fever. I just, I wanted to get something out today. So I thought this would be something good. Tomorrow I'm going to do the review of my timeline. I did the Big Sky the other day. I'm really excited because it's got some really cool features in it that I want to share with you. I love you guys. Don't forget to live that creative life. I'll see you next time. Bye.